Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. We're going to be stepping into the Toy Factory diorama today, um, but at some point we're probably going to go back to the theatre as well because I've been told that if we speak to Max here, there's some pretty funny stuff to go through. So, Toy Factory, which I believe Santa's is the... Elf looks overworked and underloved. Oh, we can't go into that one. Okay. Cooking show? Grandpa Stinky looks even more miserable than usual. Oh no, we have, possible. we have to use the card, don't we? Right. So, key card. As so the toy factory is that Santa's toy factory, or is it the ma toy mafia factory? Looks like some kind of vaguely familiar hellish toy factory, Max. Oh boy, I want to see the assembly line where they injection mold the dolls' heads. I hear it's strangely hypnotic. <laughs> oh, there's no assembly line. I make all my toys one at a time. It's the only way to guarantee each child loves it as much as I do. Uh, this is the Toy Mafia Factory, but there's an elf here, uh, which is interesting. It's pumping out those gifts from Santa's workshop. All uh, right, so this is linked to what's going on in Santa's diorama, maybe. I hope the elf can work this stuff, because I sure can. <laughs> the one-armed bandit is here. His arms off. Tis but a flesh wound. <laughs> nice. Monty Python. Uh, right. Elf. Uh, hang on, before we talk to the elf, let's see what... Oh, Must that's the... Toy in production. So can we change this somehow? So many presents and no one to play with them. It's enough to make you cry a cutscene. What? <laughs> I don't understand that reference. Right, uh, so we've got the fire extinguisher, the exit chute, so I reckon we've got to do something with this. the toys get sent off to good little boys and girls. No. Yeah, um, right, nice, so we're all good there. So let's talk to the elf then. Look, Max, it's our favourite demonically possessed elf. Well, maybe not favourite, but he's in the top five at least. <laughs> oh, hey guys. How did you end up here? We haven't seen you since the exorcism. How'd you end up here? I'm not sure. When I woke up, I went outside to find Santa. But the last thing I saw was a horrible monster. I must have fainted. Oh. When I woke up, I was in this fancy factory. I guess Santa gave me another promotion. Mm, how's the toy business doing? You're looking chipper. Are you enjoying sending overpriced toys out to overprivileged children? Oh no, it's awful. No matter what I do, my toys keep getting sent back. Okay, look, just because you're an elf doesn't mean you're good at making toys. <laughs> Stop living the stereotype. <laughs> oh, I'm plenty good at making toys. But what good is that when there are no children to enjoy them? It's like being in, well, the place where bad people go and it's really hot. Hell? Tampa? <laughs> <laughs> All right, what are you doing? What toy are you working on now? It's the hottest new toy for Christmas. The Rex Skirmish Danger Hero action figure. He's a testosterone packed champion of the glorious art of savage brutality. Sounds like someone's overcompensating. <laughs> the head office keeps sending him back, but I know I can make him perfect. Uh, maybe we can do this then. Let's help you with your toy. Max and I wrote the book on gleefully violent entertainment. <laughs> I'm especially proud of the appendix, detailing the ripping out thereof. Nice. Why don't you let us help with your toy? Hmm, maybe I have been overthinking it. Your childish simplicity could hey. be just what I need. Childlike. <laughs> All right, first, what kind of cool outfit should he have? I don't know. Kevlar vest, steel body armor, commando style titanium mech suit. That sounds pretty cool. Titanium reinforced mech suit with digital readouts. At this point, he's more machine than man. <laughs> Done. Now, what should his action Darth Vader. attachment be? Uh, a magic spatula, a sequin handbag, a list of enemies, a chainsaw. A biodiesel powered chainsaw caked with the blood of eco terrorists. I can do that. Now, what's his tragic flaw? What drives him to seek out danger? Crippling debt, acid for blood, <laughs> brain disease, chronic halitosis, uh, acid for blood. He's got highly caustic acid for blood and various related digestive disorders. Hmm, okay. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. I'll whip up a prototype. So I'm guessing we have to find the right com combination of this. 
to, to do it. Um, I'm not sure there's much else we can do here, though. Did we look at the fire extinguisher? Very useful to have in hell. Yeah. All right, let's head out. So maybe we can do something in Santa's workshop to affect this. I don't know. Let's try the cooking show next with Grandpa Stinky. Uh, hang on, what have we got? Oh yeah, coffee cup from hell. Okay. Uh, there's one missing. Is that missing? It looks like it is. So I'm not sure what that one is. I'm guessing we've got to find that. Oh god. Now, my next dish is based on a favorite recipe of Grandpa Stinky's. <laughs> Are we actually going to find out what Which happened? I'm taking to the ninth circle of hell. To the base of milk and pickle juice, just Ugh. add a little chocolate covered horseradish. Ugh. Damn! And after the break, another circle! Woo! <laughs> ah, get a hold of yourselves. Nothing is that exciting. Well, I don't know. Let's look at this book display. Growing up stinky, the early <laughs> years. Trashy celebrity biographies and hell are a natural combination. Did we take one of those? We did. Stinky's baby book. Okay. Bucket of lard. I don't think I can eat lard on my diet. <laughs> Can we go through here? It's magically sealed. Yeah, I was going to say. It's just for show. But what a show it is. Yeah. Uh, it's a pretty good show, I must say. What's in the pot? This smells like cruel and unusual punishment. Even for hell. <laughs> Alright, Grandpa Stinky, there's a cooler. There's all these rats. How are you folks enjoying the show? I thought the casino was nice, but this? What a treat! I ain't no expert on food or nothing, but that Stinky's a master chef. I think we're gonna have to come down here for vacation every year. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty <laughs> sweet. Tyrone! <laughs> oh! Uh, uh, uh. Now, Miss Stinky, I've warned you about the responsibilities that come with hosting a live program. It won't happen again, I promise. Okay, just keep the language clean and that'd be fabulous! I'd hate to have to cancel such a wonderful show. <laughs> I'm the <Seattle> <laughs> All right, can we use the mic? Yes, I have a question for Miss Stinky. Your seven layer bars turned my stool bright orange. <laughs> Is that normal? You will pay for your insolence. <laughs> All right. But the cooler's not for food. It's for the inevitable organ transplants following the show. <laughs> Okay, rat crowd. They may have been killed by a giant robot, but at least the rats got to see a true oh. action. <laughs> These are all the ones the giant robot killed. <laughs> oh no, it's qu quite dark. Well, looks good for the camera's brand oven. Okay, Grandpa Stinky. Hey, Stinky, what's cooking? <sighs> I've been wondering when you two would show up. He remembered us! <laughs> you were murdered. We were right all along. Girl Stinky really did murder you. Maybe next time a couple of travelers from the future come to you with a warning, you'll pay attention. Yeah. Murdered my impacted colon. Twas naught but a mountain climbing accident that felled old oh, Stinky. What? How did you die? Did you say you were killed in a mountain climbing accident? Aye. I was in the Himalayas, halfway up the north face of the Devil's Nipple, when Miss Port Cables just fell off. If only someone had developed a better adhesive. Oh no. Oh no. We did that. We stopped the adhesive from being developed. Okay, fine. How's hell treating you? Your hell is just being on a TV show? I thought for sure a mean old coot like you would end up buried up to your neck in poo or something. <laughs> Yeah, this doesn't seem so bad. But, uh, Not bad. That's Just look really at that crowd specific. On her every word. And they've got the nerve to reduce me to her, to her sous chef. Oh, no. I can't appreciate a real genius of the culinary dark arts. <laughs> Jealousy doesn't become you. So Stinky's got her own show. What's the big deal? Every second this show stays on the air is like swallowing another handful of acid-dipped razor blades, twisting and churning in my gut. Oh. Well, as long as you aren't bitter. <laughs> What's with you and girl Stinky? 
So what is the deal between you and Girl Stinky anyway? She was my protege. I made her what she is today. But now they call me her apprentice. Right. Okay, fine. Bye. We'll let you get back to the show. Yeah, we can't wait to try out Girl Stinky's next dish. You're so lucky to get to work with her. <laughs> ah! <laughs> all right well uh did we we got the book from here didn't we so that's that's all we seem to have been able to have picked up so all right oh okay what's going on here why is the two teeth drawer open hey someone opened the two teeth drawer Wow, Jimmy's personal file is huge. Wow. He must have been committing a dozen unpardonable sins a week. <laughs> Slacker. <laughs> Can we look at it? Jimmy's permanent record. He's been a bad, bad boy. Oh dear, Jimmy. All right, let's look at this book as well. I don't think anyone wants to hear about Stinky's early years. Well, I mean, there might be some interesting info in there. Right, before we head on, um... I want to try this Max dialogue thing. So let's go back to the theatre. Alright, Max. Bosco's naked. Bosco's naked? I'm doing everything I can not to think about that. Au naturel. You're not helping! <laughs> In the raw. <laughs> I'm not listening! In the <laughs> 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 Nude. <laughs> he doesn't like that. Hey, remember this place? Hey, remember this place? No. That makes none of us. <laughs> this is from the Brady Culture place, shall right? we? Let's. I think. I, d I don't actually know. Right, anyway. Let's, um. I, d I don't know what we do now, actually. We've got. Uh, maybe we try, um. Try working out this Santa thing. No, I may need it again later. No, I'm trying to use it on the card reader, but you're in the way. Um, so, let's try this. Let's see if we can do anything here now that we've been to the workshop. Okay, fine. Uh, Santa. Hi there, Santa. Uh, what's the problem again? What toy are you working on again? What's got you so down again? I can't work with these blasted babies, and I can't get rid of them! It's... hell! <laughs> All right, fine. Keep cool, Santa. So I want to have a look at these things. It's the Rex Skirmish doll with a mech suit, chainsaw, and acid for blood. Oh. It's the Rex Skirmish doll with a mech suit, chainsaw, and acid for blood. I think that's the one we designed, right? It must be one of those Rex Skirmish dolls. Do your worst, Dr. Despicable! You'll never kill Rex Skirmish! Okay. Why does it say that? What does this one do? I don't know how to work it. Computers in hell all the Linux. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Alright. So, this is the one we designed, right? Can we, like, take it out of the box? Don't know if we can. It must be one of those Rex Skirmish dolls. Do your worst, Doctor Despicable. You'll never kill Rex Skirmish. Okay, can we kill Rex Skirmish? Haha! <laughs> You'll have to do better than that to defeat Rex Skirmish. The bullet bounced right off. Haha! <laughs> You'll have to do better than that to defeat Rex Skirmish. The bullet bounced right off. Oh, I wonder if it's to it's do... It's the Rex Skirmish doll with a mech suit, chainsaw, and acid for blood. Right, hang on. I bet we have to do the right combination so that we can get it to actually shoot it. So, um, if it bounced off, that would be because of the mech suit, right? So, let's, um, let's see if there are any options that will let us shoot it. Uh, Toy Factory. I love the little bit of music it plays. Hello, Mr. Elf. Oh, what happened there? Uh, we're here to help with your toy. We'll help with your toy. All right. First, what kind of cool outfit should he have? Uh, so that's going to be bulletproof. 
that's going to be bulletproof, probably. Commando style, probably one. He should be all buff and shirtless, with a big flaming skull tattoo on his chest. Done! Now, what should his action pack attachment be? Uh, a list of enemies, sequined handbag, magic spatula. Probably the list. A list of the other toys who have wronged him. A constant reminder of his insatiable quest for vengeance. I can do that. Now, what's his tragic flaw? What drives him to seek out danger? All right, so crippling debt, acid for blood, a brain disease. Let's do acid for blood again. He's got highly caustic acid for blood and various related digestive disorders. <laughs> okay, thanks. I'll send out the new version right away. And the only reason I'm saying that is because if we shoot him and he's got acid for blood, then maybe something will happen. Because if the bullet goes through him, right, acid's going to go everywhere. So... I mean, maybe that won't be what we need, but we can sort of play around with it, I guess. Uh, right. Something's workshop. We'll see if shooting him this time without... All the others seemed armoured, didn't they? But this one... Oh, there he is. It's the Rex Skirmish Call <laughs> with killer abs, a list of enemies, and acid for blood. <laughs> nice. Alright, let's see if this works this time. Hey, something different's happening. Losing. Blood! Guess this is the end of old Rex Skirmish. Gee, Sam, if you don't like the gift, just say so <laughs> next time. Right, yeah, acid, okay. Okay. Oh my god. Did you come to enjoy my wonderful toy? <laughs> I thought I'd never be rid of those blasted types. How many of them are there? Oh, listen to that silence. <laughs> it's heaven. Oh, okay, so we've changed his hell to heaven. What's going on? Thank you, Sam and Max. You have been very good boys. Is that his soul? But as long as Satan owns our souls, we have to stay put. Ah. Ah, oh, look, the hell efficiency went down. Interesting. Okay, I've been told that um, once we complete a diorama, we should go back and talk to all the villains in the other room. So we'll do that, but we'll do that in the next episode. So as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Terminally Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coumadin, and Paul Leone. And I'll see you next time.